Hello there, Bruce here in the workshop today. Going to talk about wiring up standard LEDs. How to get the wires connected to them and the resistors and all that. The way that I found works best for me. Got a collection at Dualson Supplies. Uh, the wire strippers. Going to kind of set them off to the side uh, as I talk about them. Uh, cutters. A couple of, couple of versions of tweezers. This is a tweezer that's designed to clamp um, items. Very helpful in, in doing this work. A couple of sizes of shrink tubing, 3 64ths and 1 16th inch diameter. I'll talk about the difference there later. Some solder, some wire if you're going to wire it up. It kind of helps to have wire. The LED and the resistor itself. Some scissors that we'll use to uh, cut the shrink tubing. And of course my handy dandy buzzer that I talked about in some of my columns. I don't like to work on anything that isn't going to produce for me. So first I'm going to test the LED. You'll see the, the, the longer lead is the positive lead. So I'm going to hook the positive lead from my buzzer to it. And I'll hook the negative lead to the other. And there we go. This is a standard resistor, regular bodied resistor. Uh, nothing particularly um, special. In fact these are ones that I um, got for a really good price. A few cents a piece that I use for some uh, lighting projects and um, uh, you know, buildings and that sort of thing, fluorescent lights in, in buildings and that sort of thing. It's a um, pretty bright white LED, and uh, but it's a good thing to practice on too because they're fairly inexpensive. You'll notice that there's a longer lead uh, on the LED and a shorter lead. The longer lead is going to be the positive lead, and I like to put the resistor in the positive lead. It's just kind of a quirk of mine. Uh, doesn't really matter. There's nothing magical about it. So what I'm going to do, if you get it positioned just right here, you can see that there's kind of a some die marks on the uh, on the LED. Well, just inboard of that first of the die mark on the longer lead, I'm going to cut that lead. And there it is. So now I have the lead prepared, ready for the wire to go onto it. I'm just going to clamp it in those uh, pliers that I talked about and uh, I'm a scuba diver I need something to hold these pliers down I'm a scuba diver so I have lots of lead shot bags running around and that's what this is it's a couple pounds of lead shot in a bag and uh, that makes it uh, real easy to hold the um, hold those little tweezers down now I've cut the resistor off uh, fairly short and we're ready to uh, to go to work uh, soldering off uh, screen here you can hear me uh, cleaning the tip on the soldering iron in the, in the wet sponge and we're gonna uh, bring in our little solder jig here and the soldering iron wet the tip of the soldering iron with some so it's nice and wet with solder and then I'm gonna come in here and tin the end of the LED and tin the end of the resistor now I'm pretty seriously right-handed, so now I'm going to put the resistor in my right hand, put the soldering iron in my left hand, bring the two together, and that's that's soldered. That's done. You see by the tug on it, it's not going anywhere. Now I'm going to come in and cut both leads off relatively short. That's uh, ready to go. Um, now we're going to put a blue wire onto the resistor which is the positive lead. The reason for that being that um, the positive goes to that location and the blue wire in a DCC decoder. There's the handy dandy little strippers. Then I'll just pinch this and spin it. Spin the wire. And that puts a little twist into it. Put that there so that we can tin it. Back in with some solder. Again, a quick tin. Zoomed in close here, you get a little, a little better look at the actual, at the actual work. Okay. Uh, first, I need to tin the resistor and the LED lead. You'll notice I'm not using any flux. I don't see any need for flux in these sorts of operations. Okay, so we come in with the. 
There we go. A little tug on it. Now I've got a good solid connection. We'll take a piece of white wire. Strip it. Twist it. Get the solder back in here so that we can tin it. And then I'm going to switch hands again. Get the white wire right onto that lead of the LED. Hold it in place. Make sure that it's solid. Okay. Now all we need to do is to um, insulate this these connections. I'm going to use uh, heat, heat shrink tubing. I want to use the thinner the 330, the 364th on the um, lead only, and I'm going to use the 1 16th inch diameter on the resistor lead. The reason being that the uh, 1 16th will slide right over the whole connection resistor and everything. And, oops, pulled it out of the clip there. I'll pick it up here and just slide it down. Turn this around so that you can see it. There's the, the heat shrink on the um, resistor. Slide this up the other lead. Right over that little bit of solder sticking out there. And we come in with the uh, embossing tool I talk about in column uh, that uh, I got from the local hobby store, local um, craft store. And we're going to hit this with some heat. I'm going to come around in here and hit it from this side so that I'm not blowing heat into my um, bag. Won't do a lot of damage to it, but you need to be careful with this tool because you might have a, a shell or something in the background. And if you hit that with the heat, you can wrinkle some. Uh, handrails very very quickly. So here we go. A little bit of heat. Watch the sucker shrink right down. <laughs> Blew the solder out of the way. But see there you got a nice tight clean connection. That's the way I like to do them. Uh, I like to do them this way first uh, even if I'm going to be wiring them to a decoder then I can get the light in place and then I can uh, can do a little a little uh, splice joint with the decoder. <laughs>